Welcome to Tales from the Outdoor Show. We'll ride the crest of the waves as we search for angling action. With a focus on key techniques, we'll help you learn the simplest methods for success. So come along with us on our next adventure. It's Tales from the Outdoor Show with your hosts, Brad Decker and Captain Kevin Favor. Hey folks, welcome to Tales of the Outdoor Show. And, and listen, we're fishing today, Brad and I are fishing today, with a very good friend of mine, Captain Kirk Waltz, out of Mayport, Florida. And Kirk, we're, we're, we're kind of starting out on the, the edge of the intercoastal. This is where the St. John's River goes into the ocean. Fishing for trout right now, but one of my favorite things to do when I'm fishing with, with Kirk, and I, I fish with Kirk as, as much as I can, probably four or five times a year, and we're gonna end up at the Mayport Jetties, uh, where the St. John's River goes out into the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, Kirk, what, what kind of fish have you been catching out there? What are we gonna end up fishing for out there? We'll probably see a lot of redfish, um, a handful of sheephead, ringtails are starting to stack up out there, you know, because that cold water's right. starting to move in. Um, maybe a few black drum. Okay. And some trout out there. The trout that we catch out there this time of year are typically a decent sized fish. You know? Right, right, absolutely. And, and, and my goal today is to show Brad Deckert exactly how to fish. <laughs> <laughs> tap tap thread. Yeah. There's trout. That's Steve. He's got him pet named out here, Kevin. <laughs> he does. <laughs> yeah. The one thing you'll learn about Kirk is he definitely has some pets out here. These are like out here in deep water. He's got pet rocks and fish. Oh, nice yellow mouth. Pretty. You are the man. Now, where was that at? It's just out here deep. I'll bet. Pretty. What a beautiful morning. Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah. That's about as still as I've felt the air on the water in several weeks. Yep. yep. Might be a ringtail. No. Black sea, sea bass. bass. Boy, he hit that hard for he his did size. Hit it hard, Man. Didn't he? I'm telling you. He's 12 inches all day. Um. Kirk, when we inshore fish, a lot of what we do inshore is, is very determinant on the tides, movement of the water. What, what definition does the tide play out here on these rocks when we're fishing fairly offshore here? Same, same thing. You know, outgoing lower tides are a lot of times more productive because they'll concentrate these little bait fish up in the rocks. Right. You know, latter part of the season like this, you've had the final end of the shrimp run. Shrimp boats are still running a little bit, so you still got shrimp coming out of the river. So better at low tide, and, and one of the other things that's really important is look for clean water. Yeah. You really want to make sure when you look down, the water's pretty clean. Doesn't have a real dark, dirty, sandy stain to it. Sure, sure. Which, which you know, for around here, Kirk, honestly, the St. John's River has that almost that tannic color to it a lot of times. And right. when you find days like this, a lot of times on that outgoing tide, you know, it, it, it'll be dirty, and then as, it, as right. the tide starts coming in, it, it gets cleaner. It gets clean. But I mean, today. You know, it's it is January. Yeah. You know, and 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 when once you what Kurt, we always figure what 56, 55 degrees yeah. is about where the the plankton and the algae yeah. starts dying a lot and, and the water gets clearer. Uh, it's it's beautiful. Well, the today. clarity's amazing. I, I'm probably seeing 10 foot down. Yeah, absolutely. Get him, bud. Yeehaw! Yeah, 
He's actually up pretty high. I saw him. Oh yeah. Atta boy. Come on, big boy. Hey, Kevin. Hey, bud. Double check your watch. It's January, right? It is January, and you need to take that jacket off. It's getting hot. I got a sweat breaking out here. Yeah, yeah I got the load. Good fish, bud. Come to Papa, sweet girl. Yes, hammered it, hammered it, there was no doubt. All right, here you go, this time. There you go. Kirk, thank you, sir. Hey. That's a beauty. My pleasure, Brad. Nice fish. Well done. Look where you hit those rocks a couple times. You look at that, you he sure did. Look at those dings in it. Awesome fish. That is a pretty January redfish, that, my friends. Yes, sir. And he hit that like a hammer. How? <laughs> Deep water, about 35, 40 feet. There's no. Nice fish, Kevin. Yeah. Fish on! Fish on! Which hole do you go with those? Put them in that white cooler, right? Are cool. You put them in there? Yeah, drop them in that white cooler. Right? Oof. Thank you, Kurt. I think I got him out of there. I got you, Kevin. You close? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Pace we're yourself. Not, yeah. yeah, it's always it's always interesting. We we've really had some mild weather here in northeast Florida. We've had a couple freezes in the, in the last few days, but today it's it's literally in the 70s, and we've had to hit four or five different spots, Kurt. You know, just to to, to find these fish. But boy, once you once you find them, they are, they are hungry. They, they, they love this warm weather. These are days that we live for here. Yep, Northeast Florida. Nice. Beautiful fish. Absolutely. Another beautiful redfish. How about that, bud? Captain Kirk specially right there. Beautiful. Right, get off there. Now's not the time to lose the jig. <laughs> because you will fall behind real fast. <laughs> Your fellow fishermen will be all over the spot. Come on, baby. Come on. You got it, bud? There you go. It's a redfish. He's a red. I really need to take my jacket off, but I ain't taking the five seconds to do it right now. <laughs> I know better. You know, it's so funny, Brad, whenever we're, Kirk and I are doing charters and we get on a bite of fish like this. Right. It, it's inevitable. Somebody's like, oh, I'm thirsty or I'm hungry. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Now's not the time to, to get something to drink or eat. Now, now's the time to catch fish. You, because we've always said that a fishing trip is made or not made in about a 45 minute window. <laughs> that's, and I'm, you I'm, better catch them when they're biting. That's right, that's right. They are right on that point, right there. No, I don't know that that's. You can't back there, man. The Brad Decker TV show. It is, it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. How about that? That's good eating right there too, boy. Nice silvery ringtail. Yep. Thick, nice eating. Yep. 
Yep. Did you find them right there on that point? Uh, no, they were, that one was way up there. No kidding. <laughs> they are turning no on kidding. this last half hour of the outgoing. That's a redfish. Sweet. Love it. Look how pretty their tails are. Look, you see the bluefish around him? There's like six or seven bluefish looking at him. Northeast Florida, January. Brad and I are with Captain Kirk Waltz, fishing the Mayport jetties. Redfish, ringtail porgies, bluefish, sea bass, unreal. Just a fantastic all purpose bait that we use quite often are the, the live shrimp that we have. If we're fishing a jig head, we actually penetrate the tail and reverse it and bury it into the belly just a bit. Makes it weedless so it's not catching as much. It makes a nice natural presentation of the shrimp as we fish. That one's pulling some drag there. That's not Where a porgy. Oh. That's a drum, baby. What, well, buddy? Uh, yeah, you're going to get crowded back there in a second. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be bumping elbows, brother. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is another one. That's I cannot believe you pulled that hard. These yeah. rascals can pull now. Yeah, they can pull. That's a big ringtail right there. Yeah. That, Look at that horse. Three pounds. Look at that. Let's see if I can get back there. Oh yeah, I'm on the spot. Good job, Brad. Isn't that fun? Nice ringtail porgy. Look at the orthodonture on that guy. Too far out there. <laughs> those front teeth cut the barnacles away from the, the yeah. rocks and the pilings. And those crunchers you see back in the back break them up and crunch them down. Oh, you. You're OK. It's a ringtail. Aren't those rascals strong when they hit Kevin? They're, they're fantastic. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. For their size, they have some amazing swimming power. Fantastic. Kurt, when we're talking about catching these ringtails, this is a wintertime fish. It is. You don't see those in the, in the spring, right past April. Typically, they come in here in December, January, February, and early part of March, and then they're out of here. Yeah. These are, these are healthy ones. Too. Yeah, those are, those are good fish. And folks, it's a, uh, you know, when you talk about, talk about eating, it doesn't get any better than that right there. These things are, if you look, if you, he is, he is thick. There's some serious delays in it. And Kurt, there's no, there's no limit. No, no slot, no limit. Right. Huh. And they're hard what to hook because their mouths are so small. Look how small their mouth is. Yeah, he's a dink. Awesome. Oh, good job. Yeah, that was just like you said. Put tip, chili wop right on that. Tap, tap, just tap it in. <laughs> Little tap, 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 Little tapping. Tap, tap, tap. Uh oh, redfish there. Yeah, absolutely. How about that? That's Tell you way what, cool, that's man. a slot right there, baby. I don't think he's 18. No. Yeah. No, we're gonna let him go. We'll catch the bigger ones than that. But that it's is pretty. so much fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Yeehaw! It's a redfish, I, I think. I did not see his face when he just surfaced. It's redfish. Yep. That's what we were just talking about, the surprise those smaller ones are out here. Yeah. Yeah, normally when you're fishing these jetties like that. Blue tail. Whole water blue. Folks, we are we really are conservationists. We do care about the species, but we also care a lot about table fare, and this is some fine eating right here in Northeast Florida. Come see us. Yeah. Nice. Ring tail. Uh-oh, get him? 
Nice. Yeah, buddy. I got, I got the trolling motor. Oh, 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 oh yeah. That's a big fish right there. Yeah. That is a nice fish, brother. Good job, that brother. That is a beauty. It took the master <laughs> to get it done. That's awesome. It took right the master. Ooh, that's a pretty fish there, brother. That is a beautiful sheephead. That's With awesome. With some big chompers. Kirk, I know when, when you and I are running charters, especially like we're fishing like 30 feet right here, and right. you see people do this all the time, they toss it out, and then all of a sudden they just flip their bail over. And we always tell them that, look, that especially for sheep's head and a lot of these redfish and stuff, that bait's gotta be on the bottom. I'll tell you, if just leave the bail open, you know, you see that, and, and, and you know, people are always like, why am I getting a bite? Because you're not on the bottom. You know, if you're not getting hung up, if you're not feeling the rocks, you're really not fishing. Well, and that's, that's so true, because these fish are very structural, oriented. it's just like an artificial reef. They're right down there on top of it, picking crabs, crustaceans, shrimp, small bait fish out of the cracks in the rocks, and that's where you gotta be. Yeah, absolutely. So remember, if you're, whenever you're fishing these deep waters like this, and, and you, you toss that bait out there, leave that bail open, just kind of watch your line, and when it stops going down, then, then you're fishing. And when you start feeling those rocks, that's where you need to be. Nice hook set, Kevin. Yeah. Nice hook set. That was a beauty. Sheepy. Nice. Man, we worked hard for that fish. He ain't in the boat yet. Look how pretty that is coming through that God clear water. Thank you, Brad. Yes, sir. Glad to oblige. Target species sheephead. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at him tightened out on that jaw. I know it. I know it. <laughs> like sticky finger in there. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're after right Smile there. Smile for the camera. Folks, it's January, and we're fishing in northeast Florida. It's an absolute beautiful day. You know, we started off today, Captain Kirk, and it was about 45, 50 degrees, but it quickly warmed up, probably 65 degrees. I've got short sleeves on, and that sun is nice and toasty here in northeast Florida. Yeah, it's really gotten nice. You know, we've got a big old high-pressure bubble sitting over the top of us. No wind this morning, blue skies, sun finally got up real good about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. We started shedding the clothes and it's been a beautiful day. Been gorgeous. We were targeting redfish and sheephead for the, for the most part. We'll take anything that'll bend the line and I tell you, we found it out here. We're at the Mayport Jetties, Northeast Florida. We found some really nice fishing action using live shrimp and fiddler crabs and using a technique that, that just takes a lot of touch with some light action rod and reel. Yeah, it's similar to a lot of the guys that I talk to that fish out west for walleye and perch and stuff like that. It's a real light, sensitive bite. The water temperature has dropped down in the, the low 60s to high 50s. Yeah. They're not going to be super aggressive. You're just going to feel a light tap. And what you're doing is you're dabbing in anywhere from as shallow as 20 feet to 40 feet of water and you're just kind of walking that jig down that rock pile and you'll feel just a little light tap very and, light and, you know a lot of times you just can't be deceived by that because as you saw you might have an eight or ten pound redfish on the other end Ab absolutely and the fun thing is then you're pulling it up through some deep water some nice clear water you're watching him from 10 feet down caught some beautiful fish today and i really had a fantastic day out on the water in january yeah it was a blast and the, you know the extra we're catching a little bit of trout and catching a few ringtail porgies which are sisters brothers to the sheephead and all very good fish to eat and it was a blast folks listen you come to northeast florida we're fishing the mayport jetties you really do need to know what you're doing out here there's a lot of heavy rip currents as you can see behind me here you need to have someone that knows what's going on do yourself a favor when you come down here hire a captain we would recommend mr captain kirk waltz with the Enterprise Fishing Charters. He does a fantastic job. He's the expert out here. Most of these rocks have pet names. He's fished out here that long, but you'll have a fantastic time and we'll look forward to seeing you in Florida. Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Tales from the Outdoors show. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week. That's what we're looking for. Well, what a beautiful Beauty. hit that was.
Oh. Oh. That's what we're looking for. Good job, Brad. I think we're, we're okay, Kurt. Oh! oh no, no. <laughs> you rascal. Oh. That wasn't even well, on a just pump. The hook. That wasn't even on a pump. He just pulled it. Come on, Brad. It is a ring tail. It is, nice yeah. Sure is. Beautiful. We'll, we'll take those all day. Beautiful. It's a pretty big ring tail. Yeah, it is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. What are you, an environmentalist? Or yeah, something? that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Folks, I'm just doing that for the cause. I meant, I meant to do it. That was on purpose. Yeah. Mm. Sweet. <laughs> it was a curveball. Curveball. Got me on a curveball. There you go. Oh, God. <laughs> Man. You gotta be kidding me. Sheep's head, driving me crazy. There he is, Captain Kirk got him. Oh, that, well, it takes the master to get it done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, he's actually he's running around crazy. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> what about that long line release? How many uh, times does that happen? Yeah, looks just like Brad Decker, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, come it. That was a good fish, dude. Hey, folks, want to enjoy some of today's great action for yourself? Come on down to Northeast Florida and fish with Captain Kirk Waltz on Enterprise Fishing Charters. www.enterprisefishingcharters.com or 904-626-1128. See you next week for more angling action on Tales from the Outdoor Show.